<laughs> so cheesy, so lame, but hey everybody, it's Alex, and welcome back to a whole new everything for the Roasted Mind, a whole new layout, I mean a whole new format, a whole new way of titling my show, a whole new way of speaking, I'm in a whole new location, I've now moved to Portland, Oregon, which is something that I'm going to touch on in, in a little bit. Um, but kind of in this whole preface of being away for a couple months um, and really just focusing so much on rehashing the show, focusing so much on my new life, I guess you could say, and really just trying to kind of get the website going. <laughs> um, in the spirit of all that, I do have to say welcome back and thank you for joining me. Today I have again an instant coffee and I say again because if you've been listening since the very beginning an instant coffee was the first drink that I've had on this show it's a drink that I really did relate to introductions because you wanted to make it so much to the point and so kind of cutthroat like an instant coffee flavor could be as well as how kind of how easy it is to make but I'm bringing it to this kind of concept of new beginnings because well it's my beginning. I started this show off instant coffee. I kind of started getting into coffee through instant coffee from my mother. And so kind of bringing it back to this whole new beginnings layout, this whole new beginnings topic on instant coffee and the way that it's made and the light way that I like to drink it. Because yeah, I will say I am an instant coffee drinker. I do like instant coffee. And so kind of this whole circle of around why I brought instant coffee back into the mix today i'm actually drinking um let me put this down so i can show you real quick this is going to be a ucc uh, japanese instant coffee this is something that i really did fall in love with uh when i went to japan two years ago already this is a ucc this is going to be the blend 117 and it's going to have it has kind of like this rating meter in the middle and (laughs) i um I am not going to lie in saying that I fully understand it because the label next to it was in English. So the top one is going to be boldness. The middle one is going to be acidity. And the one on the bottom is bitterness, if I'm not mistaken. Um, But this is something that I've really started liking, uh, especially since I first kind of purchased this in the States, this UCC blend, because this is different from nestle in the terms of like nestle is of course you know an ethical corporation and all this and that and their coffee can be a little bit on the i don't know kind of like on the commercial side if you kind of get white drift i'm not saying ucc is any different in terms of that aspect but the flavor is a lot better i think and when i think of coffee when i think of an instant coffee i really do appreciate the fact that they mark how bitter and how acidic it is because instant coffee can be pretty acidic even here i um made two tablespoons mix it in with some water and put in some two percent milk and you can still kind of taste that cut the acidity of the instant coffee which is what i like because when i choose instant coffee that's what i'm expecting i'm expecting kind of a bitter acidic taste but it kind of brings me to home a little bit it kind of has this very much feel of i don't know like just kind of nostalgia for me in a way to put it um so i like it i mean what can i say (laughs) i'm a simple guy i like what i like i like right so again like hey i'm in portland i'm different i'm i've done so many changes in the past week i mean i got a new job i'm starting travel nursing for the first time um i'm in a whole new city i'm able to do things my way for once and one of the worst things about it all is that i'm kind of alone in it all um not really necessarily but there's not really anyone here that i know there's not really anyone here that i can kind of you know call up and say hey you know do you want to hang out do you want to this and that there's not really any of that here and kind of that's really the whole point of a new beginning right is to kind of start fresh and start new although there are negatives associated with it i'm kind of waiting to reap the benefits of the positive i'm not there quite yet it kind of feels like i'm starting from scratch and i'm still at scratch albeit it's only been a week a week 
from today. So last week I was getting all the stuff in my apartment moving in. Um, that was a whole mess. Oh man, that's like a whole nother story. But I mean, we did it. We're here. We organized. And as you can see behind me, there's like this beautiful kind of cascade on top of the unfortunately glim and dreary looking apartment building right next to us but above that there's all these trees and all this green which is different from where i'm you know from vegas and all that but i came here thinking that it was going to be right off the bat happy that it was going to be right off the bat a whole new changing experience and i would kind of come into here this you know one man and leave the next within a matter of days and I'm still not seemingly at that point. And I get it. You know, it's fine because it's only been a week. It's only it's only been a week. And I still have so much time to adjust. But the scary part is that I don't know anyone here. The scary part is that I'm a bit isolated, out of my element. I'm starting from scratch. I'm tabula rosa. The scary part is that I'm alone. Everybody I know everybody that I've cared for, I've made the conscious decision to leave behind. And whose fault is that? It's mine. Whose fault is it that I kind of don't want to go out of my way and, and update people and tell them how I've been and tell them what's going on and kind of quote unquote brag and this and that. It's my fault. <laughs> That's what makes it really hard is that I can't complain. I have no room to complain. I have no room to kind of feel sorry for myself because I did this because I wanted this kind of quote unquote better future. Yet here I am. I think I just spilled my coffee on my socks. <laughs> okay. Anyways, I'll clean that up later. Um, yet here I am talking to you about it. Yet here I am kind of not really moaning and groaning but using this platform as an outlet to voice how i feel because i have really no one else to do it or rather i don't allow myself to and in today's age where it's really just as simple as um you know uh, facetime facebook messenger instagram dm i'm kind of really restricting myself from doing that i'm really kind of ignoring any kind of request uh to catch up albeit you know maybe excluding one or two people um i'm really not in the zone in the mood to update everybody on how i'm doing because i feel like if all i have to say is that i've moved out and i've tried this one place to eat or this other place to drink coffee i'm not really showing any kind of signs of progress i'm not really showing any kind of signs that i've grown i'm not showing any sign of i am different it's just like if I went down the street and went to go grab food at some place that nobody else has heard of, I guess, um, in, in a way to kind of put it simply. So I don't want to update and I don't want to contact and I don't want to connect until I know for certain that it would matter Until I know for certain that I can feel comfortable in doing it and that I can comfortably say that I'm different. Maybe it can be that I'm better. Maybe it can just be that I've changed. I mean, who really can know for sure right now as kind of cheesy as that sounds and i really hate saying that but it's true it's true why even worry about any of that why even worry on kind of what i appear to be and i've spoken on this before on the show what really matters to you what really matters to me and i think right now i'm starting from scratch i'm rehashing everything i knew about myself so i don't know what matters to me i don't know what values i hold anymore i don't know who i hold important into what kind of hierarchy i place them into sometimes i don't even think i know myself and this is not all just because of a move it's all based off the principle that i am choosing consciously to be alone to restart to have a refresh, new beginnings, drink an instant coffee with 2% milk. It all revolves around this circle of finding out who you are. It all kind of comes back to this introductory class, introductory course of you, of your desires, your dreams, your habits, and 
I'm really starting to learn or I'm going to have to start to learn what it takes and, and who I am and what I am into and all the other stuff that I've already spoken about 10 billion times. I know it can be a bit redundant, but I mean, that's just how I feel. It's just what I think. And there's nothing wrong with it. There's nothing bad with starting from scratch and there's nothing bad with letting go. Although I, I might think that it is. I might think that I'm making the right uh, or I'm sorry, the wrong choices all the time. It doesn't really matter. It doesn't. What's important is that you feel kind of. And it's a little hard for me to say because <laughs> I'm, tr I'm trying to like dig up something, you know, some kind of way that I've been trying to feel and but haven't been able to verbalize it but I think right now what's important is that I recognize that I am ready for change no matter what the consequences are if I lose friends because I decided not to talk to them if I forget certain people because they just aren't memorable to me anymore um, if certain connections are gone or if i build up new ones and those end up causing trouble with my old ones and blah 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 there's 10 billion different things that i could expect and can expect but won't expect because i won't let expectations get the better of me all this is just overthinking <laughs> all of this is just overthinking and all that matters is that i'm comfortable with it is that although i might be making a mistake and I might have already told myself that I'm making a mistake. And I might be thinking that this is all the wrong decision. I'm going to keep going because it's just temporary. I'm going to keep going because I'm ready for a new beginning. I'm ready for a refresh. I'm ready to sip that last drop of instant coffee. I'm going to keep going because I believe in myself. I'm going to keep going because I know what I'm capable of. And I know that I'm capable of doing new things. I'm going to believe in myself because because I want to. And so this kind of goes back to this whole or to this new season of the Roasted Mind. This new layout, this new kind of format. Um, I'm changing the wording of the episodes because I no longer think I'm in the realm of that headspace to word my titles that way. To make it seem like they're from... Um, records or from a movie or something of that sort i want to be more not basic not laid back um i want to be more clear and just more inviting i guess that's the way because i'm in a new environment i don't know anybody here i want to make new friends right and so if i'm able to pull one listener from the title just because they read okay this guy's talking about new beginnings over a cup of ucc and some coffee which i enjoy or which they enjoy then maybe i can do that out here in the real world maybe i can do that and make some friends by showing maybe having my tattoos visible you know i have a tattoo of, of monkey d luffy from one piece or maybe wearing a shirt that has something that somebody likes or maybe i'm just saying hey man i dig your whatever you know you got nice glasses you know let's grab a drink blah 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 um hopefully i can kind of translate that out here into the real world so i'm changing that title because i want to be more inviting i want to be more open more friendly i want to be a voice and a shoulder i'm changing kind of the layout of the videos um there's not going to be any more outro song because I feel like that was very season one. I feel like that's very introductory. I feel like that's the beginning and now is a new beginning. Now it's time to put that up in the past and kind of do it this way. The jazz is staying. The, ja the jazz is not going anywhere because I love jazz. <laughs> I love jazz, man. And I, and I'm not, I'm going to be honest. Like I get these jazz backgrounds, uh, noises from like live streams on youtube from like different kind of uh videos out there that are no copyright jazz for you know just to listen to to study to chill to put it in the background where you make a coffee stuff like that and i put them on all the time um when i wake up in the morning and i'm getting ready uh you know getting my day started i usually put that on in the morning just to kind of 
cook breakfast, make my coffee, do my daily thing. Um, if I'm cleaning, I'll put on like the Spotify jazz in the background playlist. Um, so I dig jazz. I do dig jazz. I was taking jazz lessons for a bit. Um, unfortunately, I'm dumb and I didn't, I have like a hard time being consistent uh, and I take full responsibility for it. But listening to it, I'll do it all the time. I'll do it any day. The website, the website. Let's get one thing straight. I am working on the website with what time I have and with what amount of time I'll allow myself to put in. And that's, I say that because, you know, and this might be a little uh, vulnerable for me to, to me to say, but I have not poor time management uh, skills, but I just put a lot on my plate all the time i put way way too much on my plate all the freaking time and so i might have time to do this one thing work on the show but i don't want to because i have to do this other thing because i want to also be good at this but then also while i want to be good at a i also want to practice b so that's why i didn't really get to fully practice my piano all the way because i was so distracted by you know, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, that I wasn't able to put my all into that. And I have this issue with the website as well, where I am making blog posts, although they are irregular. I believe there's nine. The one I'm going to come out with is going to be number 10, the one on um, on restart. Let's get this straight. Let's, let's clear some facts out. And so keep an eye out for that one. It's going to be released when this episode drops. So I encourage you just to go take a look. Um, it's pretty cool. I think I've, I put in a lot of good work into it. Um, so please just go and, and read them. There's only like 10 and they're only maybe like a minute read at best, two minutes. They're not bad at all. There's a song of the day. There's a picture on there with a caption. And then there's the long journal entry. Like I said, max at most, if you're a slow reader like I am, two minutes. Um, there's an updated page on the newest episode which is going to be this one and so that's going to be on there too as well as links to every single um outlet that you can listen to spotify apple Podcasts, google Podcasts, uh w- whatever else i put up on there um because i really only use spotify so i just regularly remember that the big thing that i'm working on is the review page and if i were to show you my files on all the places that i've tried and all the photos and videos that i've taken yeah it's it's a lot and what i need to do and what i want to do is just categorize it to uh, certain locations i just want to categorize it to certain locations put on this place and then up continuously update it for whenever i go take a couple pictures and just pop it in here's my cook review on this drink that's my goal right now i haven't done much of that what I did do is I did organize all my photos and videos um, into the different locations already so I have that there I just need to plug and play but I need to tell myself to shut up sit down put some headphones on listen to some jazz and and get going another hard part about it is I need to convert the videos to gifts and that's also been kind of a pain in the ass but that's one of the story so I'm working on it. I am working on the website. It is going to happen. And I apologize for the leeway on the episode, but I just want to make that clear. The website for me does feel like it's a new beginning once I get it up. And hopefully I can have some people listen. Um, my blogs have comment boxes that you can leave a comment on. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, man. <laughs> yeah, I'm out here. I'm doing the thing. I am living the way that I want to live, regardless of any inconveniences, regardless of any, I don't even know, misinterpretation, no malintent at all. And to my closest friends and family, I'm incredibly sorry. I am incredibly sorry and will always be grateful for everything you have done to me. But right now, I just do not want to communicate. Right now, I want to figure this out on my own. Right now, I kind of think that I have to figure this out on my own. Right now, I need to figure this out on my own. 
I am doing my damn hardest. It's only been a week, but it's been a very rough week, let alone a really rough, like, past two days. Um, man, <laughs> I'm getting a little emotional just talking about it because I never thought I would be here. I would never thought I would be able to say that I am starting fresh, let alone I never thought I'd be able to tell you all this if you're even still listening. I don't mean to demean myself by any means. I just hope that you understand where I'm coming from. I just hope that you know who I am. You recognize what I'm capable of because I've shown it to you. Because I've been open and I've been honest. And if you relate to me in any way, then... <laughs> then that's awesome that's amazing i'm really glad i'm really glad we have this thing to connect over a cup of coffee um whether it's whether you're drinking a homemade espresso whether you get starbucks frappuccino whether you're having um dutch bros annihilator or a small coffee shop has a uh, macchiato that you're trying or maybe it's a cold brew maybe it's just a glass of water hell soda if you're talking over me this with a beer i know there are coffee shops that uh, serve alcohol um a mixed drink maybe you're not drinking anything maybe you're eating maybe you're driving none of that really matters to me in my head we're sharing this over a cup of coffee we're talking about who we are what's going on we're talking about new beginnings we're talking it over a cup of instant coffee and 2% milk. I appreciate you all for listening. And I apologize for being away for so long. But I thank you for coming back. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> cool. Well, I'll talk to you guys again later. All right. Have a good day. A good night. Enjoy your coffee, enjoy your beer, enjoy your food, enjoy your drive, have a good day at work, all of it, any of it, completely. Where am I going with this? I don't know. I appreciate you all. Thank you. Bye, guys.